Ni katika kanisa la ABC Masaku Bomani County ya Machakos. <mulia> Zaidi ya wanawake viongozi miatatu wa makanisa ya ABC wakakusanyika katika kanisa hilo tayari kuchambua lengo kuu la kongamano la wanawake mwaka wa 2023 na 2024. Bila Lengo ya siku ya leo ama lengo la mwaka huu ni tumaini lisilo yumba yumba we want to give women hope especially this time of hopelessness because there's so much that has broken the women hearts Kwenye kongamano hili na lililofunguliwa rasmi na askofu mkuu wa kanisa la ABC aliye pia mwenyekiti wa baraza la kitaifa la makanisa nchini NCCK Dr. Timothy Ndambuki aliwataka wakristo wachungaji kujitolea kikamilifu kuwa watumishi wa Mungu ili kueneza injili kwa kila mmoja kote ulimwenguni. Kwa upande wake kiongozi wa kitaifa wa wanawake wa kanisa la ABC Askofu Mary Nzioki amewataka wanawake kuwa na imani na kumtumainia Mungu haswa wakati huu mgumu ambapo wengi wamepatwa na msongo wa mawazo kufuatia kupanda kwa gharama ya maisha humu nchini. These are times when we are facing economic crisis, family challenges, marriage disorders and every manner of um, issues that surround the life of women. We know a woman is the pillar of the society and the woman is the pillar of the entire church and even the family. And so if this woman breaks down, everything comes crumbling down. And if their marriages fail, if families fail, if the society fails, we want to tell them that God has not failed and Jesus has never failed and we cannot fail so long as God is on our side. Dr. Frida Kent aliyalikwa kutoa mafunzo kuhusu afya ya kiakili akifunza baadhi ya mambo tofauti yanayosababisha kudhoofika kwa afya ya kiakili na jinsi ya kuyaepuka kabla hajaleta madhara makubwa katika maisha ya binadamu. Kitu ya kwanza na ya muhimu ni kuangalia shinda ile inatukumba sana ya akili and we want to know what can we do in those instances when we are faced by those domestic violence in terms of emotional abuse in terms of physical abuse one of the things that churches can do to help us navigate through the mental health challenges in our lives today it is about holding workshops sawa sawa having the workshop is one of the key things that the church can really help the, the uh, even the congregation, the people around them to really navigate through the media, the, the, I mean the mental health challenges. <laughs> Karo Christopher Undugu TV.